Hello, and welcome to... Cheerborn, it's November. That's right, it is November. You don't have to play creepy games. That's true, I, do. I don't have to play creepy games anymore. You also don't need the camera on. And I don't have to have the camera on. That's right. Oh, that's so much better. And I can play whatever I want. It's Saturday. I don't need to play this game. I, not that I have anything against the game. I think 20 minutes till dawn is just fine. But we had a whole month of playing creepy games. So how about we liven things up and I put on Luck Be A Landlord instead. And we sit here and we watch me do spins and try to get different achievements. Because that's kind of what I've been doing. It's just going through attempting to get these different achievements that I need to get. And then I'm going to discuss with you what is going to be happening with this channel. What is going on for the month of November? I posted a community little note saying that I was going to be doing something. We're going to continue. So to continue with Luck Be A Landlord and to explain to you what is going on in here, I am essentially just trying to uh, get myself killed in the game by the essence of the guillotine because I have to die by that so many times so we're just gaining life I'm just doing this because that gives me coins I don't know gaining life but gaining coins this is what we're doing essentially uh, this is my whole setup it's just bees water and flowers and then the the golden arrows that spin around the only really thing that we're focusing on is getting billionaires so they get destroyed by the guillotine and then when we become a billionaire I get destroyed by the guillotine. So let's keep spinning. Every once in a while, this is just all I do is I get on here and uh, I play this and I try to make sure that flowers are in the corner because when certain things happen, or a certain amount of turns, our little prodactor, every three spins, symbols in a corner are considered adjacent to all symbols. So we get a lot more of a payout. This is gonna be like a slow gain to get to a billion. So you know what's going on. Let me explain to you what's going on with the channel in November. Now, some of you may know that uh, November is my month or the month that I was born. So I'm changing it around to being the month where I just play whatever I want to play, whatever I decide to play. I'm just, I'm being really selfish with it and I'm making it all about me. Here's the thing. Doesn't really change the schedule much. I still want to play Gundam Breaker 4 and complete the main story of Gundam Breaker 4, which we're about to do, by the way. We're right there at the end. They just came out with some new DLC that I haven't gotten into, but they introduced a uh, Gundam from Gundam Builders that I was trying to make, which was the, um, oh, what's it called? Sengoku Astra Gundam, but it's essentially Mushu Gundam in the red Astra frame. Also, I'm telling you that we're close to beating the game. I think by recording, I'm nowhere near close, but by me actually playing the game, I'm there already. I'm at the last chapter. I'm about to finish it. So I guess essentially you guys are going to be seeing the videos a little later, unless I happen to edit all of those videos and get them out in this month so you can see the entirety of the game. Or if I make the editing longer than just 30 minute videos and do hour long videos. I'm sure you all enjoy hour long videos, right? Gets things done so much quicker. Like in October, we beat three games in its entirety. Well, okay, not Hellblade in its entirety. I did miss some of the rune things, but uh, I'll just respin that. But for the most part, uh, we beat three games, which is, I think, a record 
for the channel for a year of actually like completing and beating games. Beating it story-wise, not entirely achievement-wise. We did that with Amanda the Adventurer, but we beat the story for Buddy Simulator 1984. We beat the story for Hellblade uh, Senua's Sacrifice. We, we did great things in that one month. And uh, I would like to do that more. I would like to beat games more, which is why I do this, like with Luck Be a Landlord, go through and just slowly progress towards getting these achievements. <clears throat> I like beating games and getting 100% achievements on things. The only thing is I've got like an attention span of a goldfish and uh, happen to just forget that that's what I'm doing or I just lose interest and decide I'm going to do other things. With Luck Be a Landlord 2, it's a little more difficult to get all the achievements because most of it is uh, chance-based. And so I don't always get it right away. So I just spend maybe an hour or two going through trying to get these chance-based ones, like this one here for Goose. Have a goose lay a golden egg before rent payment number one is due. Rent payment number one is due in like four or five spins. So that means I have to get a goose on the first selection. So right after the first spin, and then I have to get it to lay a golden egg, which is a very low percent to do. I forget how low it is if it's somewhere between like five and 1%, maybe between one and 10, but it's, it's difficult. I haven't been able to do it yet, but I keep trying to. Right now we're going for Guillotine Essence 2, be destroyed by Guillotine Essence two times. I've already been destroyed by it once. So that's what I'm focusing on right now. And then there's other ones where you have to destroy certain items like Mega Chest, destroy two Mega Chests before rent payment number 12 is due. And there's quite a few of those achievements before rent payment number 12 is due, which is the final rent payment. And it's kind of difficult because the icons in question they want us to get are rare icons. Also, if you're noticing anything different with my voice in itself, it's because uh, I am sick. I have gotten uh, tonsillitis, as is a couple days ago. Woke up, just an absolute scratchy throat, dry, uh, congested like crazy, and then my tonsils started to get inflamed. And, um,. Yeah, I, I felt absolutely terrible. It sucked so much. I, I'm not sure if this happened and I explained it in my buddy simulator video or it may have happened after the buddy simulator bit video and then the next day. I, I don't remember. Skipping it a rare item? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, do we want any of these? I mean, I can't really use any of them. Just sure, stuff up for 15 to get a very rare item. Give 50 if three or more of the same symbols are adjacent. Not destroyed. So do that. Uh, we don't have that. Destroy itself before this and. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> sure. We'll do that. I had a uh, thing going where it was a chicken farm. Cause I needed to do something with chickens where it had to hatch an egg. The egg then had to become a chick, which then had to become a chicken, which then also had to lay an egg. And that also has like a rare chance of everything doing something. And now I've also been just like picking up items just to pick up items. There's no other reason to uh, do this. It's just, just do this. It's all about just, you know, passing time until I slowly reach a billion. But, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling better now. Like, my voice is uh, getting a little clearer. My tonsils aren't so much inflamed anymore. I had to wake up and gargle warm salt water for uh, a few days. And I, oof. Like, right after you get done doing that, your whole mouth just is salt. I try to, like, drink and rinse out with cold water after I've had hot water in there. And it, it's not pleasant. It doesn't feel great. Uh, but it's just it's all it's all salty <laughs> for a bit until uh until you rinse that out I uh, don't care for any of the capsules and then uh, I've been taking ibuprofen that's uh, an anti-inflammatory and hope to reduce the swelling of my tonsils um, 
I've got halls, little sore throat lounges because those things, you know, my throat hurts. All the coughing, it's just essentially a sore throat. It sometimes feels hard to breathe because my tonsils gets in flames. Then it feels like uh, I can't get air in and out. <laughs> That's not a pleasant feeling at all. Um, and then just eating like chicken soup, drinking orange juice, drinking cranberry juice, which I don't think is anything that's helping my tonsils. It's helping my kidneys. So I guess, you know, while I'm trying to fix my tonsils, it's just, you know, get some special care to the kidneys. I don't know what they're doing back there. I don't know how well they're, they're going. They don't tell me anything. I think I find out if my kidneys uh, have something wrong with them is if I look down and there's blood in the toilet from me peeing, then, you know, that's my kidney saying, hey, I think there's a problem. Luckily, that hasn't happened, so we're going to keep our fingers crossed that it doesn't happen. But I uh, want to give them some cranberry juice for not having that happen. So, uh, yeah, good times. But I'm, I'm feeling, starting to feel a little bit better. I'm getting my voice back. It's it's still a little <laughs> ing, but um, should be back to, to normal within either tomorrow or I uh, would say the next day. Probably by Monday for sure. Unless it all just starts to swell back up and, and goes the opposite end. Usually when I get this kind of like uh, tonsillitis, strep throat type deal, it lasts a week or more and there's really nothing that can be done about it. I've gone to an ER and uh, depending on how far into it you are, depends on if they will prescribe you some antibiotics because it's a bacterial infection. And uh, they, they don't always do that. Your tonsil is essentially like a filter system to prevent you from getting sick by getting you sick. <laughs> that's, that's how the tonsils seem to work. Try to like filter out any negative stuff from going into your body and uh, uh, prevent you from, from feeling even worse. So I guess that's what they're doing. It used to be that if you got tonsillitis or strut throat or something like that, they would remove your tonsils the first time around but right when i got it they like just recently stopped doing that because they started realizing you know it's probably better if you actually had your tonsils in your mouth than if we were to remove them good old advancements in science um <clears throat> so yeah that's that's where we're at uh, as for games, we got Gundam Breakers going to be coming back. I'm still going to be playing Dot Hack Quarantine, regular schedule, three times a week. Uh, Breaker is on Thursdays, and then I'm rolling away from uh, Black Myth Wukong. Our last video was us beating Chapter 1. I don't know, if, I don't think we got into Chapter 2 at all, so I was like, you know, this might be a good place to stop. Also because um, I just stopped playing Black Myth Wukong after getting to Chapter 3. I uh, had a lot of, there's like a lot of skips and you've probably have heard me mention it in my videos too. Where I talk about it kind of like lagging around a bit and it got to a point where it was like this is just bugging me. And I don't like that it does this. It's like my PC apparently is not good enough to run this game. So, um, I guess I'll just not play it, or I'll come back and play it another time. It's a fun game. I had a good time for the times that I was playing up until Chapter 3, where it just got to be uh, a bit too much for me. So with that, I, I don't know what it's gonna gonna replace it. I haven't decided. Uh, Saturdays, 
as is were kind of like a free day where I would either not play a game and kind of take a break because I think taking a break every once in a while is a good thing to do or um, I would just pick a, a random game to play usually it would be like something that everybody is talking about or kind of like is like the popular streamers are all streaming it so like right now uh, Dragon Age Vanguard, Vanguard whatever it's called is is going on right now and um, that seems to be what some streamers are playing. I'm, I'm not going to. I've never played really any of the Dragon Age games at all. I've played uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, and that's like a Bioware game. Uh, I didn't get too, too far into it. I'm trying to remember where I left off on it. I can't even think what I was doing last that game because it's been so long since uh, I played it and I, I know I didn't beat it and I didn't make a whole lot of progress it was like I played it to try it out and see what it was like and I was like okay and I guess it just didn't really hold my attention too too much and uh, didn't didn't continue to play it not saying that it's a bad game it just didn't catch my attention uh, we got Monster Hunter World's beta is out currently um uh, I'm not going to play it. I would much rather wait for the full release over playing the beta. If you're more of the same similar adjacent and not blank, they permanently give 1.5% times more gold. That's definitely something we want to get. Oh, there's a whole... Uh, achievement around this guy too I gotta kill a bunch uh, of the just citizens it's like a big large number of taking out citizens and then we just skip all that uh... yeah so let's just take devil's deal uh, whenever symbols destroyed symbols don't really get destroyed unless it is a Billionaire, which is not coming around as often. Uh, what's another game people are playing right now? I uh, can't think of another one off the top of my head. <laughs> oh. But yeah, Saturday will be open for uh, just whatever. Might play a game, might not. Uh, I think I'll be leaving it open for uh, things when Flog Dog comes and plays games because he's been wanting to do that more. So we plan on playing more games together and uh, recording ourselves playing games together. So that's gonna probably start being a little segment where I start playing games with and uh, that may be what comes in on Saturdays. We record ourselves playing one game. I'm teaching him how to edit videos. So we're going to be going through that together. I'm going to show him how to edit videos and then we're going to release that. And then uh, there is a game that I've been watching Hat Films play. And it looked really interesting and it was something multiplayer related. So I had... Uh, Flog Dog get that game and we're gonna play it. Okay, only one of them hit the corner one. <clears throat> oh, let's see. What else? God, what else has been going on? Uh, my controller has been going out my xbox controller so i think it might be the cord or it's got something to do with the connection like the top portion of the controller where the plug in the cord seems to either be loose or it's just like not keeping the connection on it 
I thought maybe it was like my PC that was causing the problem, but I'm noticing any time like this cord gets moved or jostled or anything like that, just the slightest bit, then uh, I lose connection and it, it stinks. So I'm gonna get a new cord for it and see if we can get that fixed. In the meantime, I'll be switching back to the PlayStation 4 controller, which doesn't always work with every game. And I have to use a third third party program to uh, get it to work. Come on, just all of you, just point right at it. That was one. Do it, do it. Ugh. Get all three of those to point at a flower as um, the corner item is activated it's really good it's a really good thing <laughs> and I have to stick with like this as a uh, strategy this little combo of bee water flower stuff because starting over doing something different would take too long to really get it to pay out like it is or maybe there's a whole like meta pay service that I'm not entirely aware of. That could also be a thing. Uh, let's just put you in the center of everything. Oh, Black Ops. Black Ops just came out. I will not be playing Black Ops 6. I have no interest in playing the Black Ops game. It's just, it's really the same game over and over again when I went from uh, Call of Duty was that Modern Warfare I think is what they were calling it from Modern Warfare into like Call of Duty Cold War I was just realizing this is just essentially the same game over and over again with different skins and maybe different guns or different skins for your guns or things like that but it's the same type of gameplay. It's a fast paced shooter game, which are fun. But now at this point, I don't really see the value in buying the same game over and over again and then putting money into DLC content or add on content by getting different skins and stuff for it. And then not being able to use them when the next game comes out next year because it seems like they put out a new one every year and then when like two years pass they just start closing down the servers to the the other game and it's like what the hell i i put money into this game you have warzone and you let me use my skins and stuff in there but i can't use my skins and stuff on other call of duty games i more prefer to play the multiplayer like team deathmatch modes over the warzone mode like i had a group of co-worker buddies that we would get together and play warzone and then uh playing the dmz when they had dmz <clears throat> but it seems like they gave up on doing anything with that which is a shame i was kind of enjoying it and then um I just we just stopped playing schedules changed um, I wasn't a big fan of one of the friends that was in the group either and uh, didn't want to really play games with them because it was just always something with them and I was like I just I really don't want to be around that one individual that just happens sometimes I could be that one individual sometimes who knows but yeah, I just lost interest in, in Call of Duty. And then I started liking like more slower paced shooter games. Because like the fast paced, the loud explosions, like the constant just things happening on screens. It's like a slot machine that just constantly is doing things. Like, I mean, me playing this, for instance. You get the loud noises, the da -da 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 -da, and then things hit ding, 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 ding. <clears throat> it's like that, but instead of like being 
it's not machine noises. It's uh, it's bullets and explosions and, and it's not even like screams. Look, like, oh. unless you count people on the mic yelling at you. Then I guess yeah, it is screams. Sitting out slurs at you. <laughs> There's a billionaire. Mm. I like how they made the billionaire look like uh, Zuckerberg. <laughs> He died twice. Boom. Uh, let's see. Achievement hunting is something that I want to do. Since we completed so many games last month. And then getting into more console games is another thing that I'm hoping to do. Uh, of those 27 options, it happens to be a billionaire. I'll take it. Oh, they get more when they're destroyed. Let's do that. Oh, more sunglasses. I have so much removal on me now because I was doing... Uh, trying to do different types of strategies and needed removal to get rid of all the stuff to bring in another strategy. But now I've reached the point to where everything needs to be done before rent payment 12 or it's just like a constant, you know, do a thing. Actually, there is something I have to do with the flowers now that I'm remembering. What do we have to do with the flowers? They have to pay out a certain amount. And it's like a ridiculously high amount that I think I need to look up how it's supposed to be done. Have a flower give, uh, what is that, trillion? 19 trillion, it's 19073486328125 or more coins. And uh, I'm not really sure how you do that. If it's something fast paced or it's like something long that you have to do because after you do rent payment 12, you go into endless mode, which is what we're doing now. And uh, I thought I would use endless mode as a good opportunity to get some achievements. Ugh, so stuffy right now. Respin a column, let's see if I can get you in a corner. Nope. I'm gonna take you, put you in a corner. Hopefully these arrows are gonna point at you. All right, and we're 0 and 3. Let's see, what are we gonna get? What's simple? I don't see a billionaire in here anywhere, which really sucks. If I do a reroll token, does it pop up? Oh, it does, and there he is. Oh, no, it's a hooligan. Damn it. They get him mixed up sometimes. Get that hooligan out of here. We already did the hooligan thing, having to break pots. Let's see. This time we'll get him out of a corner. Put you right there. trying to think of like what console game I've been really wanting to play. I got one right next to me actually for the Switch. Uh, NES edition of uh, World Championship that they brought for the Nintendo Switch. It's still unopened. It's the Lux set. Comes with like a little golden uh, cartridge on it. That's a hooligan. And uh, I've just been holding out to it like I want to do a whole competitive gaming thing where like I get super competitive in games and just be over the top and ridiculous and uh, I haven't done it also want to get back into doing art again 
I want to paint many figures. I brought I bought a green screen mat to go over the top of my table that I used to, to paint miniatures on and wanted to uh, start painting miniatures. And I figure while I'm painting miniatures in the background, I have something else going on, like some gameplay footage or something. Um, I want to draw. I want to get back into drawing again. I've just been doing nothing but like video games. And um, I want to sparse out and do other things. I want to get back into playing TCG games. And not like video game TCG games. I mean like going down to my local game store. Playing TCG games. I'm a big Magic the Gathering commander uh, person. That's like one of the TCG games that I enjoy playing. They came out with a game recently called Union Arena that uses uh, animes. And it seems like for the most part, Shonen Jump animes. They had Hunter Hunter and Bleach. And then, uh, I'm trying to remember what the other one was. I think it was Attack on Titan. Might have been something different. Billionaire. Oh, yeah, we're going to be having corner fun. Uh, Disney Lorcana. I was playing Disney Lorcana too. But that game, it's a fun game, but it massively got taken over by people who like to buy and resell and then resell it for a lot. So scalpers will come in essentially and bought up a whole, let's just, an entire stock basically when the very first set of Disney Lorcana came out. They did the same thing with the Digimon trading card game too when that first got, came out. And it was like during COVID times that these were happening where supplies were limited and uh, it kind of ruined it for me because I could not find cards anywhere. I could pay an absorbent amount of price to get them. And when stock finally started coming back, the stores themselves started upping the price. So it wasn't selling it at the uh, MSRP rating. They were selling it for more than the MSRP rating. So I was just like, I don't want to play this game. There's some people who will pay those amounts and will be able to make certain decks. And it seems like in every card game, you have a meta deck. And so people were going through and uh, getting their own meta decks and paying the exorbitant amounts of prices that people were charging in order to get them. And I didn't want to be one of those people. So I was like, I'm, I'm good. I'm not going to play this game. I'm not going to take this game serious. But here recently, now that they've had four, I think maybe this is their fifth series that's going on. Stock's been a lot more out there and then the prices have dropped. They, I think, are still a little bit over MSRP. But it's now decent. It's at a decent price. And it looks like scalpers have not been uh, doing anything with them. Like, uh, charging a ridiculous amount for them. Oh, one of my flowers didn't get brought in. Let's put that there. But I thought about getting back into doing those types of games. And that's something that I won't be recording. That's just something I'd be doing off stream. Uh, drawing and painting, that would be something that I wouldn't mind recording. But doing more of a kind of like fast paced speed type uh, recording. But I would like me painting to be fast paced in the green screen in the background with the gameplay to be regular. Like it's going at a regular pace, but my hands are just like choo -choo 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 -choo, moving real quickly. But I'm not really sure how to do that. 
I've been still learning kind of how to do different stuff with editing videos. Like that remnant video that I did with Flog Doc. That was really a test on uh, trying to mesh two videos together and get them to come out as one. Having the multiple screens, I found out was something that I could do for um, recording to where I can have like one big screen and then the other smaller screen within the big screen uh, showing the other players video as well. And I tried to put the video with the most activity that was happening on it at the time at the front. We also were recording through like one mic that was on my video. So that was uh, a challenge all on its own. Getting timing of things down to from like what was being said, which you couldn't really hear us all that well. There was quite a lot of stuff that got missed and not picked up because the mic wasn't picking it up. It was just too far away from us. And what I thought had a high sensitivity on it, they didn't. Not to mention that sometimes it all just mumble stuff. I won't really like yell or say things loud. <clears throat> Oh, uh, we're still waiting for this to happen, so I'll put you there. Get that other arrow. Damn. Um. Oh, what else is going on? I've had the urge to go back and play uh, Soul Calibur 6. I went back and started getting into their kind of story mode that they have where you make your own original character and they have like a leveling system and you can change the equipment on your original character so you can use the different fighter styles because essentially the custom character thing is just like design your own character and then give them the move set of the already existing characters in the game I wish they would have done more things uh, I'll do that quiver I wish they would have done more things where it was, um, they had the soul of moves when it came to like, uh, creating characters. And they did that in Soul Calibur 4. Hang on a second, I gotta blow my nose. Um, where you do a soul of and they had devil gin in there from uh, Tekken which is cool because it's essentially uh, a Bandai Namco game which is what Tekken is published with or is it Bandai Namco? I think it's just Namco I'm not 100% now I thought the two of them merged but I think they also do some titles as individuals enjoying playing that uh, little mode they have for Soul Calibur so every once in a while I'll put like a, an hour or two in it going through I'm trying to find like a Minecraft mod pack that I wanted to record and do a series of but for some reason I just find it kind of difficult to do Minecraft videos to kind of like make them entertaining to me anyways from like a, an editing standpoint I think that's the one thing that I do when I edit my videos, it's just like, do I find this entertaining for myself? It's just fine. And I'll do like weird things too, where it's uh, like the videos in October, some of them had 
uh, an effect on the entrance, like when you started the video. And then even when you would end the video too, and that was just me being like silly, thinking it was gonna be funny to do stuff like that. Had no meaning, there was really no point to any of it. Anything I was saying on there meant nothing. It tied nowhere with the game or anything that was going on. I was just like, I just, I'm gonna do this. I just wanna try this. It's also part of just experimenting with editing too, to see like what I can and can't do. That's been fun. I've been enjoying the kind of video game playing and editing process that I've been going through. And sometimes it can get weary to where it's just like, I don't feel like doing this today, which is why I kept Saturdays open. And then there's times where I want to do it all the time and uh, record multiple videos. And if I could do that and then get them edited and put on to the YouTube channel, because usually most of my videos are recorded the day before they release. And uh, I want to do to where I'm recording them, recording a bunch of videos in one day and then releasing them small. Time, like that time. God, I'm just all tongue tied right now. Um, <clears throat> I did that with the Hollow Cure videos, but that blew up like I did not expect. And um, people were giving me advice on how to do things in the game. And uh, it was like the advice they were giving me were things that I did later in the video. So I didn't want to like spoil the video so much to let them know like, hey, I did this already. I would just tell them, you know, things like, oh, that's a great idea, I should try that, or, oh, yeah, okay, I'll keep that in mind. And then when it's like the next video comes out and I didn't do that, and then they're in the comments section going like, hey, why didn't you do that thing that I told you to do? You can do this, you don't have to do this way. That's why I did the whole hill turn <laughs> portion of my video where I decided uh, it'd be a great idea if I just played a heel. Like I'm a WWE wrestler doing a little heel turn, being the bad guy. And, uh, I mean, I still found that shit funny. <laughs> I know I, I lost uh, a couple people who uh, wanted to watch me and then the comment section got all upset because uh, of the things that I was saying, saying how good, how easy the game is and just bragging about how good at games I am. But saying how good at games I am and or I am so good at games has just been hilarious to me because I'm, I'm not really a bragging type of person. But I very much uh, enjoy every once in a while when like something good happens in the game or it goes my way just saying that like oh i am so good at games or even saying it when something bad happens and i'm not doing good and just saying it too the same way just like i am so good at games i think i'm so good at games and see you in the next game has become my catchphrases for the channel and there we go we're gonna make merch i'm gonna put it on mugs yeah, I'm so good at games mug. And the, uh... Um... See you in the next game mug. I don't know, I don't see myself ever get super big on here. God, he just got killed like three times. Guillotine three times. They guillotined him once. Attached the head back, brought him back to life, put him in there again, did it again. Put the head back on, brought him back to life, and then did it a third time. Or maybe it didn't work the first two times around. Maybe the blade was dull, and it just like the first time it dropped, it just was so blunt. All it did was kind of like maybe snap something or break a bone, didn't really cut, pierce the skin. They're just like, oh, well, we got to do it again. Put him, lift it back up again. Second time it goes in just a little bit, but not enough to really get the head completely off. So it's just kind of like dangling there. And then they're like, ah, oh, well, you know, maybe the third time's the charm. And there it goes. Finally, finally worked. I do remember hearing from somebody, and I think it was my history teacher. 
that people would uh, pay the executioner to make sure that he sharpened his axe. Because if uh, he's not able to cut your head off in the first time, he's got to keep chopping a few other times in order to get that thing off. You're going to be feeling it. <laughs> he's got a dull axe. God, the medieval times are brutal. I love playing games in medieval times. But it has to be... I think high fantasy. Not where it's just people, just regular humans. I, I want elves and dwarves and goblins and stuff like that in there too. Uh oh. You know, I honestly don't think I really have anything else to say. Or I do have things to say. None of it really means anything. It's just a bunch of babble to me. I don't know if you're gonna enjoy this or not. I'm just coming off of doing spooky game month. I'm just kind of relaxed trying to heal. It's nothing of uh, absolute importance. This video is still going to go out Saturday. It's probably not going to be that great a video. Because <coughs> you got me coughing in this video. Clearing my throat. Just, you know, being a, being a real sick boy. Just being absolutely disgusting. On, on the mic and just talking about random bullshit that has nothing to do with anything that's it uh it's been 46 minutes so far so I guess I could just end it here I mean I'm gonna continue to play this game either way I guess another thing I could have done was just uh not said a damn thing could have started this video and just been like yeah I don't have to say or do anything muted the the audio of my mic and took away the camera like I did and then uh, go through and you'll just get the game for an hour <laughs> I did think about doing that when I was thinking about what to do in the beginning of the video which I hope you enjoyed the beginning because that's just as far as I thought about what to do for this video and then I'm just winging and ad-libbing all the way through on what to say and what to do I had no I have no topics planned I usually never do unless I like just read something or watched a video on something and it's like oh I want to talk about that but other than that I'm I'm ad living and and just kind of uh, oh what's it called improving everything I say and do and what happens and hopefully it's interesting and, and maybe it's it's not not all of them hit not all the jokes hit but, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> uh do, 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 do. Yeah, pepper. Just about earning gold, right? Another respin. I don't want to do it. Spin. Three blanks, which we don't ever have. Unless three or more symbols are the same, so none of these are good. Just skip them. I get money for skipping them. Oh, uh, we can do another Oswald the Monkey. Monkeys just pay out so much. Too bad I don't have them. Still a horseshoe. Uh, but Lucky the Cat. Do that. Maybe I should blow up some of these symbols. See if I can't get any billionaires. Where are they all at? Here they are. Skip. 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 It's also all just free coin for me too. If I decide not to do any of these. There's Billionaire. <laughs> um. I said I was going to end the video and now we're just watching me last open these things looking for billionaires to be head this is the real uh, entertainment portion of the channel right here hooligans ah oh, I have some other videos I recorded during October too that were not spooky games but they came out and I wanted to record them and they need to be released so I will be editing those videos and releasing them out and just kind of sprinkling them in on random days Again, this month's just going to be me doing whatever the hell I want. It's, it's my birthday month and I'm going to be arrogant about it. 
I'm generally not an arrogant person. Just please keep that in mind. Uh, for all those people who watched uh, Hollow Cure and got upset at me. That's not my general personality. It's usually just kind of very relaxed and laid back. Doing whatever, saying whatever. I don't know when this corner is going to go off, so I'm going to throw that one over there. We're going to throw this one over here. Oh, good. It was a... Was it a corner? It was a corner spin. It was a corner spin. Good. That so I can keep an eye on this. Um, yeah, so a bunch of videos. I'll have the regular scheduled stuff and then uh, any other videos I decide to come up with, a game that I wanted to play or just sit down and play. Maybe I'll just record every game I ever play in November. And it uh, doesn't matter what I'm doing, maybe I'll say nothing in that video. Maybe I'll just be a complete silent video. Maybe I'll put the the camera on for that type of video uh I'm, I'm probably not going to i honestly i don't like having the camera on at all the only reason that i had the camera on was to catch my reaction if something were to like jump scare me or anything like that not realizing that the majority of the games that i picked weren't like super scary games they're actually kind of like fun action games like ghostwire tokyo I didn't realize that going in. I've never played Ghostwire Tokyo before. I hadn't really heard anything about it before. So uh, it was all kind of new grounds for me. Just brought him back. Did again another dull knife cut through that billionaire. <clears throat> but they were fun. Like Hellblade. That was pretty fun. I liked going through that one. I'm probably going to get the uh, sequel at some point. Play that. A Man of the Adventure. That turned out to be more fun than I thought it would be. Uh, just playing through the one was all I was doing. But then Flog Dog was like, you got to continue playing this. You got to keep going back and doing the other things. So he's the one who pushed for me to go back and do that. Looking up and doing the achievements and 100%ing it was actually kind of fulfilling. And I do like the little fluff that they added into it. And left it so open there at the end, too. And now the second game is out for Man of the Adventure 2. Could go back and play that. <clears throat> and then, um... What was the other one we did? Buddy Simulator. Buddy Simulator was a really fun game. I'm actually, uh... Kind of surprised I liked it. I didn't think I would. Especially because I thought it was text-based. But I did see the pictures to where, like, it showed that it changed at some point. But the text base kind of drug on and then it started to change and then as this friend this buddy was like losing it I was like okay now this is gonna be a good game this is getting better and then I just wanted to at some point where it was like I'm gonna do what the buddy tells me to do I just had a change of heart it was like I'm not gonna do I want to antagonize this thing I want to irritate it now I want to cause it problems so uh, I had that shift through the middle of it just to, to see what would happen with it and it was a good outcome anyways I'm gonna end the video though because I could drone on like this constantly and get nowhere so thank you all for watching I do appreciate all of you I hope you know that even if I say different things even if I call you nerds which I do all the time. I, I don't know if you hear me. It's mostly behind your back is when I do it. I, I just figured I should let you know because I want you to hear it from me and not somebody else that I'm doing this. <laughs> uh, I got to find something to call the people who, who watch my channel. That's uh, that's a part of my group or my community, not group. I forget they call them communities. Do community discords and things like that. I don't think I have enough activity on this channel to do any of that, though. If I had more activity on it, like right now, it's it's me and Flog Dog. That's all I feel like is watching is Flog Dog. I see the other views, but I also see my average view 
timing being like three to four seconds. So I think it's just people who click on the videos and are like, oh, what's this? And then getting me, hello and welcome back. And being like, I'm, I'm done. I don't want to do this. This guy's energy is just, it's so cringe. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm out of here. Thank you all again for watching. And I'll see you in the next game. Goodbye.